Hi friends, it's Mrs. Vincent back with another workbook page for today. So during our lesson today on Zoom, we did lesson 19 and here is your workbook page that goes along with it. So again, you're going to need your workbook, lesson 19, and you're gonna need five crayons today. That's orange, red, brown, blue, and green. You'll also need a pencil for a little bit later on. So go ahead and pause the video in order to collect your materials. Orange, red, brown, blue, green crayons, and workbook number 19. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to gather anything. So we've been working really hard on the parts of our window. Remember, this is the one that's gonna be on your test, which is why you're seeing it so often. We really wanna make sure you've got all of those parts down. So here is your first coloring rule. It is for the panes of the window. You're gonna make a mark on your panes, orange, orange panes. Now, some of you, when I've made the mark, you've only been doing that bottom one. But remember, all of these little ones up at the top, are also panes, okay? It's just that they're different shapes at the top and the bottom of the window. They should all be orange. Your next coloring rule is for your green crayon. It's for the lock. Remember the lock is the one in the middle. Make a mark on your lock green. Your next coloring rule is for the handle, the one down the bottom. That's for your brown crayon. You're gonna make a mark on your handle brown. Now the last part we're going to label is our missing part. It is the frame of the window. Remember you're going to want to go back and trace in pencil and then you're going to make a mark on your frame red. I'm just going to make a little mark at the top so that I don't, oops sorry about that, so that I don't color over those dotted lines. I know I have to go back anytime you see dotted lines it means trace in pencil. Okay, the window is a must do. The other characters in the picture are a may do. Down at the bottom, you are looking at another scene. This is a picnic. You can see some people enjoying some food and beverages outside in nature. That's a picnic. You're gonna have to use some super spy eyes. I have some friends that are doing a lot of them, but you're still missing a few here and there. So you have to look really carefully. Here's my first coloring rule. It's for all of the food. You're gonna make a mark on all of your food orange. I'd recommend pausing the video now so that you can make a mark on all of your food orange. I only made a mark on one right now to show you, but orange food. Here's your next coloring rule. It's going to be for your green crayon. It's going to be for any vehicles you see. Remember, if it's made to take you places, it's a vehicle. And there are a surprising number of them, okay? The one that I suspect we might forget about is this wagon over here. Now I can't color the whole thing because there's also some food in there and I know that all of my food is going to be orange but the wagon is a vehicle. So I made a mark on him green. You're gonna make a mark on all of your vehicles now. Go ahead and pause the video in order to make those marks. I'm gonna turn over to the back side of that worksheet where we are at a pet store, okay? This is a pet store and there are a lot of animals in this picture. There are also a lot of containers in this picture. A lot of them, you're gonna have to really pay attention to your coloring because I see fish and fish are animals, but I also see a tank, which is a container, okay? So you're gonna have to color the container, the tank, one color and the fish inside another. So really pay close attention to the marks that you make right now. We do have two coloring rules. Your first one is for your animals, you're going to make a mark on your animals brown. Brown animals. I'm gonna make a mark on one right now just to show you. You can pause the video now if you need to make marks on all of your animals. 
my last coloring rule is for the containers. With your red crayon this time, you're gonna make a mark on all of the containers red. Brown animals, red containers. You don't really need to pause the video because this is the end of it, but please make sure that after you have made those marks that you do go back and color all the way. Boys and girls, you've done a great job today and thank you for working so hard to upload your videos, uh, sorry, your photos to Google Classroom. Just keep up the great work and until next time, bye friends.